Dear Grump, it's me, Flutie. I am doing well, and I hope you are too. I've been keeping busy while you have been gone. Oh, I hope you've been keeping safe. Up in the sky, I've missed your engineering skills here on the farm, and I had to fix the tractor by myself, and well, it didn't go well. Don't ask where the other half of the barn went. Scrap collection has been good too. Recent fighting has dropped a lot of ship parts here. I might be able to finish the Aurora on my one-man ship. I still have the propellers we made before you left. Still as smooth and fluid as when you left. I hope to have the Aurora finished by the time you get back. I've been doing some piloting training, and I've gotten pretty good at those on-the-spot engine repairs. Fortunately, I still can't fix the tractor. Anywho, hopefully I can make it out to the next aerodrome. Oh, those gauges you sent me busted after only a few hours of use, and I need a new flyball governor for the main tractor. Please come back soon. I miss you. Stay safe in those bright azure skies. I wish I could have come, but the harvest is soon, and I needed to stay around the farm. Give my best to the team. Tell them I wish them luck. Yours truly, Floaty. P.S. Did you get those flags I made? I fear that Nyorhi shippers may have lost the package, but I hope they did get out to you and find that you and the team in good health. Dearest Floaty, it's great to know you're well. Things are tough here. It's strange being around people who are almost twice my age. I'm small, but strong. This is a dangerous job, but I'm loving the thrill. I know the risk, but I take it, and I fight. I'll never stop fighting. The wind is cold, the sky is dark, but it's exhilarating. Through the fog and the dust, I shall rise. I am no longer the girl I once was. With a spinner in my left hand and a mallet in my right, I will vanquish all. We have lost many ships, but continue to remain confident. The crew has been training hard. I get to be an engineer, which is amazing. The ship came with 1,500 bolts, but I could put it together in half that. Yes, we received the flags he sent us. They're amazing. We hung them up for everyone to see. The crew as well. Haz has been recruiting people to his Hades division. Selty has been eating all the peanut butter. And Heldy shot an apple from the top of the spire with a lumberjack. Sincerely, Portable Grump. Dean Charis. You would be pleased to know I finally got rid of that awkward-looking tricorn hat. I'm wearing the Aengator cap with the white wings that you found in Paratus. It fits snug against my chin when done up properly and smells faintly of roses. We are here making preparations and wanted to write you before time becomes scarce. I hope this letter finds you well. In these circumstances, I should refrain from such a risky act. Things have been troubling me since we parted almost too hastily. I'm working with excellent crew. I trust unreservedly in their abilities, yet behind the seeming confidence, I worry about each and every one of them. I make no promises of what would become of us after all this is over, only that I would do all that I could. Should I not return, even partly, in body or in mind, I would like you to know. Even though we will boost up like squid racing pit crew, I really did mean what I said that night in Nalm. Please forgive me for cutting the evening short. Normally I would endure any tongue lashing from a Yeshan border guard and I had no desire to be victim nor hero then. Besides, heading out back into the dunes was beautiful, was it not? The night was so clear and bright. Remember those stars I pointed out to you towards the south? Look for them again as often as you can for me. You will know why when you see it. I'm not sure how to close this. There is a fantastic coffee mechanist and fellow that I must bring you to visit. Calmer times will return. Let us meet next for coffee then. I can hear the steam presses hissing already. Yours faithfully, Triffin. Father. Surprise, I'm not dead. I know you must have thought I was, or maybe you hoped after I was stowing away on that mercantile ship. I still don't regret my choice. Kimberly would have gone to pieces if I hadn't been there, and hey, I got a job out of fixing her. Win-win. By the way, I'm writing to you from the war. The big one. Literally just saw two ships explode from across the dunes. Thankfully, we're on the other side. We're winning, Dad. Actually winning. I'm out here defending your sorry ass back in the capital. You should be proud of me. I mean, you always should have been, but hey, it's gonna take a war and dying to make you proud, I guess... Dying and here anytime soon. If I did, nobody would keep Beckett from drowning in moonshine. And the Green Sun Trading Company wants me around, which is more the. Sorry. I might still be a little mad. Just a bit. 
Anywho, I'm out here. I'm still alive. And Florva is the most beautiful ship in the world. I wish you could see him, Dad. He's absolutely gorgeous. All of my ships are. That's right, my ships. Because I keep them afloat. Beckett's shitty piloting has nothing on me and Lauren fixing the fucking things day in and day out. You'd hate our captain, Dad. He's a drunkard and an asshole. But he loves his ship and his crew. He'd die for us. Which is why I think I... I... Uh, the ship's on fire, Dad. I'll write you later. Bye.